Tonight, you have a chance to listen to your child play a musical instrument. Not just his or her part of each song, as you normally might hear from the other side of the house as you get dinner ready, as your child is practicing all the time at home, I'm sure. But tonight you get to hear the big picture, the whole song, the sum, which you will find is going to be greater than all of the parts that you've heard at home. You get to unplug from the daily grind. You get to have some time away from your screens. We're going to film the concert, so you don't, you don't have to worry about that if you don't want to. It'll be on the website. And I'm going to give you each a chance to take a picture of your kid on stage. So then when we're playing, you can just set it aside for a minute. In the next hour or so, I hope that you will experience the beauty of music. I'm confident that you're going to experience the power of music. Tonight is about your child being part of the team. All of the groups that will be up here have had to work together, listen to each other, trust themselves, and have a singular focus of performing to the best of their abilities. Every part in each song, every note that is played, Every drum that is hit and every rest that is counted has been precisely scripted to create different types of moments in music. Moments that will stir emotion. Moments that will make you laugh. Moments that will express the truest part of humanity through beauty and power and collaboration. As you sit here tonight, I encourage you to enter the moments. Allow yourself to be swept away by the music and experience the tangible joy of a live music performance. I also encourage you to listen for something specific about a musical moment that you experience this evening and share it with your child after the concert. We love to hear how our music impacts us, impacts those around us. We, as musicians, love to make music but we know that it's bigger than ourselves. So as they say, sit back, relax, and enjoy these performances. My name is Kaylee. <laughs> My name is Kaylee Robertson, and I play the clarinet. Our beginning band met in two sections. One had all the woodwinds and percussion instruments, and the other had the brass instruments. At the beginning of, this, of the year, we did not know much about band. We had to learn how to put the instruments together, which, which drum to blow into, and how to do <laughs> that properly. Once we got a handle on the basics, we started learning about how to play songs that had three and four notes. Here's one of the first songs we learned this year, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Right, one more thing before we start. Want everyone find your mom. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. This is their first time on stage. Feeling a little nervous. You guys give them a... My name is Peter Kokinas. I play the trombone. 
My section of the band, the brass section, did things a little differently than the woodwinds. In the beginning of the year, we had to learn how to buzz into our mouthpieces. We do it at the beginning of every class, and it sounds like this. Unlike the woodwinds, we don't have any, any buttons on our instruments, or any. And so we had to learn how to play more than one note per fingering. We did this through lips slurs, and they sound like this. And so we had to learn how to play more than one note per finger. We did once we did those warm-ups, we would work on learning songs and expanding to playing songs with five and six notes. Our next piece has six notes in it, This Old Man. I play the trumpet. The first main skill we worked on in band this year is technique. We practiced using the proper embouchure or mouth position for our different instruments, sitting up straight and when we play, and we're and we and putting our hands on the correct places. Let us know how well we do in our technique. You will be able to you will be able to see if we are sitting up or not. My name is Will Kybel and I play the trumpet. The next song we will play for you helped us practice reading our notes as well as our rest. Silence is just as important in music as the notes. This piece uses quarter rests, which are worth one beat. See if you can hear where the rests are in the song. Please enjoy, skip it loop. My name is Cal Kinnates and I play percussion. In our percussion section, you will notice that we play the instruments by hitting them with a stick or a mallet. This makes us different than other band instruments because we don't use air to make a sound. The second main skill we work in band this year is called tonal. This includes the notes that we play as well as the key signatures. Playing in a different key signature is like, is like if a lacrosse team went to a different field to play. 
The rules are all the same. It is all just in a different place. Switching keys of music is very similar. Some keys of notes that are higher than others, putting them in a different place. But the rules about the notes are still the same. My name is Sam Watts, and I play the tuba. We learned many songs in the fall and winter where we all played the same thing. This is called playing in a unison. We also learned how to play as a band, where each section has a different part. In this next song, you will hear the different instruments come in, different, in at different times. This took a lot more work from us because we had to learn how to start at the right time and follow the conductor. Here's wind song. <laughs> Thank you. 
The third main skill that we learned in band this year is playing different rhythms. This is really important in percussion because we keep, um, we help keep the beat for the whole band. We have to learn how to keep a steady beat while playing long notes like half and whole notes, as well as short notes like quarter and eighth notes. My name is Ryan Greenling and I play percussion. The last main skill that we worked on this year is reading music. We had to learn what the different symbols mean from notes to rhythm to expression. The last piece that we will play for you this evening incorporates all of our skills, techniques, tonal, rhythm, and reading music. Please enjoy Robin Hood in the Golden Era.
Creative Band, we took the skills that the beginning band described and we worked on them in our class as well. At the beginning of the year, we went over the basics with technique, notes, and rhythms. Our next piece, Montego Bay, has a more complicated notation in it. There are repeat signs and first and second endings, which are sometimes confusing to follow. My name is Evan Mallon, and I play the percussion. Even though, even though the notation is a little bit more complex, we reviewed the basic skills and added a new one, expression. We learned how to play piano or song, as well as forte or lap. We also worked on playing crescendos and decrescendos, which happen when we get louder or get softer. This is really important in music because it makes it interesting to listen to. Here's Montego Bay. and I play trombone. The most famous band composer from America is John Philip Sousa. He lived in, in the early 1900s and wrote many songs for marching bands called Marches. This next piece that we will play for you is one of his songs. Here is The Thunder.
name is Ben Gunsier, and I play the alto saxophone. Tonight so far, you have heard a diverse set of pieces, from folk songs for the beginning band to the last piece, which is a march. Our next piece was requested by one of my classmates, Aldous Sims Clark, and is from another genre. Our piece softs out soft and delicate, and is powerful and moving in the, in the middle. You'll hear the low woodwinds and brass in the middle section of the song. This is similar to some film music depicting a battle scene or a call to action. My name is Ryan Peltovich. <laughs> My name is Ryan Peltovich, and I also play the alto saxophone. This piece taught us about different types of the shows. It starts out with three beats per measure, and then switches to four beats per measure. We have to make sure we're paying attention so we don't get lost. We need to use all of our band skills to learn this piece, from pro technique to playing the proper notes and rhythms, to following the expressive markings in this song with the dynamics. Please enjoy the colliding visions.
name is Charlotte Maceres, and I play the bassoon. This year, we learned about a lot of different ways to play music. In the fall, we played as a pep band at the all-school pep rally. For a few months in the winter, we split into small ensembles and played in small groups. Tonight, we are playing as a large ensemble in a concert band. The next performance will be a duet in which the two performers will be playing a piece by Beethoven. Form of this piece. This song is a program music, meaning it is meant to tell a story. This story is about the Glass House Mountains in Queensland, Australia. Legend has it that there was a fight between the mountains leading up to an epic battle with a tragic ending. In our piece, listen for the build up to the battle and the quiet sadness at the end. Here's a legend of the mountains.
is Alana Dotson and I play the flute. Our next piece, Java Leon, is highly energetic. This was a good piece for us to practice playing complementary rhythms. You will hear the melody weave between different instruments of the band, from the flutes to the saxophones to the trumpets. We we had to focus on playing with a steady beat so that we would be able to so that we would play our entrances correctly to be interconnected with the other sections in the band. Please enjoy Java Leon. themselves. This piece helped teach us new notes to play because there are many chromatic notes. Chromatic notes are the ones in between the normal notes. It also features Adam Snyder in the percussion section playing the auxiliary instrument. For, the, for this piece, these include the bike horn, the ratchet, the slide whistle,
The final piece for the advanced band this evening is Ormond Beach Overture. This is another programmatic song and is based on the community of Ormond Beach, Florida. Ormond Beach is a vibrant community and its beaches are well known for the car races dating back to 1903. This is the birthplace of NASCAR and is close by to its famous neighbor, Daytona Beach. In this piece, you will hear music depicting the quiet swampland and coastal areas of the region, as well as the music that depicts the energetic hustle and bustle of the town. As we learn this piece, we practice playing at different tempos or speeds. We also practice our musical expression with varying dynamics and articulations. Please enjoy Ormond Beach over. in the evening, I would like to give a few awards. Middle school band is where it all begins. They start off playing Mary Had a Little Lamb, and they end with something like that. Quite an improvement. There's so much to learn. The learning curve is really steep. And all the students here have worked really hard. And I want to honor a few of the students this year. I have three awards to give out. The first is the most improved award. This award goes to a student who is dedicated to playing an instrument, who is responsible and who works hard, who comes and asks for extra help when he or she needs it, and has all of the extra work pay off. 
I would like to give this year's most improved award to Saria Khatri. That it gets, and also, his name is engraved on this plaque that we have that will be hanging in the middle school band room. Congratulations. <laughs> that I'm going to give out is a new one for me, for middle school band. And that's, I'm calling it the McDonough Compass Award. Here at McDonough, our character compass is at the center of everything we do. And it's hanging in every classroom and we talk about it in every advisory and it's a really big deal. It has to do with character education. And the five, place, the five main characteristics that we focus on are responsibility, honesty, respect, kindness and service, which is at the center of everything we do. I saw this year, and it inspired me to create an award to honor students who demonstrate the characteristics from the McDonough Compass. The student that I have selected for to be the first recipient of the Middle School Band McDonough Compass Award is someone who has been honest and respectful with me in sometimes saying things that teachers or students might be nervous to say to a teacher. Um, and I found that to be quite refreshing and I thought that it took a lot of courage for that student. This student is very responsible and always comes in knowing uh, his music, always comes in being prepared with his instruments, is always willing to help. When we were working on our small ensemble stuff in the winter time, he helped other people, he was a leader, and so I'd like to um, give this award to Kaleva Sefa. And the award is his little heart in the music room. And I also have his name on a plaque that will be hanging in the middle school band room. award that I have is the highest achievement award for middle school band. This is called the Dedication and Achievement Award and it goes to a student who not only shows the character that McDonough so highly focuses on, not only shows that they improve and work hard throughout the year and it pays off, but that it's all wrapped up together. This student is kind, this student is innovative, this student is responsible, this student works hard, plays well, and I would like to give this year's Middle School Band Dedication and Achievement Award to Aaron Sterling. <laughs> and so that award is called me that says Musical Achievement, and his name joins the other students on our plaque that will be hanging up in the middle school band room, hopefully as an inspiration to all of our other musicians who will be coming up through the ranks. It does not always have to go to an eighth grader, um, but this year the three uh, recipients are eighth graders. So congratulations to you. Thank you. At this time, the sixth grader are going to come up and go to their spots for our last song, Vincent. We'll be introducing our next song.
Hi, my name is Vincent Chang, and I play the bass clarinet. Our last piece this evening is called Finlandia. It was written in, in the 1900s by Sibelius, a composer from Sibelius, um, from Finland. The melody of the song is very famous and has a lot of different lyrics, including a famous patriotic song in Finnish. Several different Christmas hymns, and it is a theme for the alma mater at some universities, as well as our own school, McDonough. We, as students, know the words to our alma mater, but in case you don't know them, I'll read them right now. McDonough's home to us who sing her praises. Our youth is lived where we for years have learned that courage comes where it walks places. <laughs> oh, praises. <laughs> where Alan stood, where Lyle's drink once burned. <laughs> That courage comes where fox lays in the lower <laughs> Her children, we are love and pride.
My name is Molly Roden, and I'm in Ms. Irvine's advisory. As many of you know, the sixth grade class is doing a fundraiser to buy some water filters for people in Uganda who do not have access to clean water. Each advisory has been tasked to create a fundraiser with the goal of raising $75 for the filter, and next week many of the advisories will be holding their fundraisers during school. My advisory will have a lemonade stand with at the band concert reception along with the donation basket if you would like to contribute to our water filter. We are excited to help bring clean water to those who need it in Uganda. Thank you for coming out. There's a few thank yous that I need to do um, before we are dismissed. Dismissed. Huh. I'm a teacher. Um, and I want to say a sincere and deep, profound thank you to all of the music faculty here at McDonough. It is a pleasure to work with them, so thank you to Don New, Andrew Shaw, Susie Eldridge, Mike Feathers, who all, we all work together and uh, really love your kids. So thank you to them. It's quite wonderful to work here for uh, an administration who cares so much and who really is in tune with your children. I can come and have an idea or an issue, a concern, um, something that was wonderful that happened in the classroom. And the advice and the encouragement that I get from Darren Ford and Jennifer Bowders is really incredible. They get middle schoolers and how they do it. They're grown-ups, but they're part of what really is just a middle schooler. And so thank you to them for all of their support for the band program, for the music program. Thank you. There are a couple people, uh, Tyler, Allison, and Sue Tannery, who all work in uh, taking care of this theater. And I said to Tyler the other day, you're so nice. You're so nice to me when I come in. And you know everything that we need, and it's always set up, and they're so professional and helpful when I'm at the most stressful point in the school year. And so a big and deep thank you to them for all of that. <laughs> and the last thank you goes to you. Thank you for choosing McDonough. Thank you for choosing this place to send your kids. I know sometimes it's hard. I know sometimes it's hard in ways that I'm never going to know and that I could never understand. But sending your kids here and creating the community, being a part of this place, is special. And they don't all get it yet, but they will someday. They're going to look back and they're going to say, wow, man, I had it good because my parents chose this. So thank you for sending your kids here. Thank you for having them be a part of this band program. What we created tonight, all of these moments, or because there's a choice that you made. You made it with them, and we're able to reap the benefits. So thank you for that. I hope that you enjoyed our concert, that you were able to experience some moments, some musical moments that took you away from all of the rest of the things you're about to go back to. Please um, celebrate back with us at the reception. <laughs>